Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash of Clans talking all about the new defense, the Bomb Tower, and its relationship to Miners and Hog Riders. We're also going to show a couple replays today at Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9 to examine the new Hog Riders, or I should say the old Hog Riders versus the new Giant Bombs, which no longer have the 1.5 damage bonus. But for right now, let's check out Miners versus Max Bomb Tower. So obviously Max Miners here, only four of them, Two on each max bomb tower, able to take them down, survive the bomb blast, and live to tell the tale. Now let's watch a few miners against one bomb tower, protected by a giant bomb. You can see, again, they survive, but just barely. Now let's make things a little bit more interesting and add some haste spells to the equation. A lot of you have asked me, can they burrow in time if they're aided by these speed bonuses? And the answer is... No, they cannot avoid being hit by that bomb damage no matter how fast they're given a bonus via either haste or rage spell. What about the freeze spell? Is that able to somehow mitigate or stop or prevent this bomb damage onto the miners? And the answer is no. You can see here, even if I place my, my freeze spell beforehand and the bomb towers are frozen during the entire duration of the engagement by the miners, the bombs will still be active and do harm to the engaging troops. How about the hog riders? So a few hog riders versus two maxed out again bomb towers here. They are not able to even get to the second bomb tower. How about three hog riders with a heal spell? Let's see how that works out. So heal spell pre-placed. Here come the hog riders. They're doing fine now. They're being healed up very, very nicely. The the bomb towers have a very, very fast firing rate and it makes them look... The, whoa, 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 easy, easy, Hog Riders. It makes them look really OP, uh, but they don't do much damage. They actually do less damage than a Wizard Tower. Remember, obviously, they can only target ground troops. Now let's make things a little bit more interesting. You can see I put a set of double giant bombs between the Bomb Tower and the Archer Tower. And again, the Hogs cannot make it past, but they get very, very close. So the moral of this story is Bomb Tower. Not a lot of damage, not a lot of health, but they they actually do pretty well upon destruction, especially if there's a bunch of surrounding units, defensive units, providing that fire support to the bomb towers. So imagine mortar fire coming down on the troops as well as wizard towers. And you know what? It could spell trouble for these mass attacks, specifically at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. I think the bomb tower actually was a great solution to the mass attacks. And you can parlay that with a new level and the buff to the mortars and these boner and mass minor attacks mass bowler attacks could be in trouble now town hall 8 and town hall 9 is a different story now you're gonna have to take me at my word guys but these attacks were just first tries i did not plan these out you can see they're pure spam attacks with hog riders at town hall 8 and town hall 9 now this base not the best base in the world however it is maxed out with the clan castle everything's all good to go but you can see that i basically just threw down a million hogs let them go to town and healed them wherever they happen to go and it's gonna be a pretty easy three star despite the bomb tower being on the map defensively so my hypothesis here is that town hall 8 and town hall 9 hog attack just got a pretty decent buff with the removal of the 1.5 damage to hog riders now this base is much better you can see a town hall 9 you can see the maxed out for town hall 9 level 3 bomb tower just hanging out there right in the middle near that uh, town hall there's also a tesla farm around there so you want to keep an eye on that area in a second so again guys first try just going to send in one golem my heroes and a couple wizards right into that archer queen defensively uh triggers the clan cast nice and easy drop that poison and then with no strategy or no planning I'm just gonna spam all these hog riders onto the map so I have over 30, 31 hog riders and here it is a total spam attack if this is not a spam deployment I don't know what is guys so here comes the Tesla farm in just a second speed things up a little bit here I'm just basically like I said I have four heal spells I'm just gonna drop them on the map wherever the hogs may go you can see when they do start engaging these uh, giant bombs 
bombs on the map, I'm just going to go ahead and pre-place a heal spell in the obvious areas where the giant bombs are, and they're easily going to be healed right back up to full health. And you can see here, my queen's still alive, but I don't even think I need her at this point because almost all the hog riders are alive. I lost a bunch of that spring trap there, but otherwise, I mean, it's fine. I have plenty of time left, over a minute and a half left in this raid. So I'm going to fast forward, and you can see, guys, I think hogs are going to be really, really, really strong, even stronger than they already were at Town Hall 8 and 9. And that, my friends, is going to do it for this video, short and sweet. I hope beyond the novelty of seeing miners and hogs go mono e mono the new defense, the bomb tower, you guys were able to pick up a little bit of insight in terms of where to place or where to best place your bomb tower defensively, what type of units to surround it with. Obviously, if you put giant bombs next to your bomb tower and then you put more splash damage or any strong defense on the other side, that could be a winning combination. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Love you. Love all the support. Hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, take care, guys.